What's up, y'all? This is Jason Nelson, stand-up comedian, author, writer, producer, live shows and events, and more. Focus on the funny LLC. I just got out of therapy. Feel a little, uh, you know, it always ends right when it gets good. So uh, my therapist, home, homework assignment for me is to discover what makes me happy. Um, uh, most of what I do and what I'm motivated by um, was to make other people happy. Um, I like to see other people win. I probably struggle with believing I can win. Even though it appears I'm always winning within reason. And I'm the king of like, and we was talking with therapy, like, I'll build up a sandcastle like 10 feet high and then I'll fuck it up. You know, because I guess I operate within a lot of um, shame, you know. That's something I had to deal with even when I was uh, a kid. You know, I was always made to be ashamed of myself. Um, and then we were discussing how a lot of things I I can gauge when people are pleased with me. Like when I sell tickets or when I get laughter or, you know, I do certain gig ads where it comes with a rating system and I can gauge what can I do? And then I was telling them about how, um, how like, let's say how people can have a, a physical ailment and there can be like, if you miss a limb, it doesn't mean you're not deserving of love. So what if I have a mental ailment? Like, not like, I mean, I'm just saying like, what if I am a little quirky or something? You know what I'm saying? Like I, did that mean I'm not deserving of love? And then on top of that, like, you know, I want to have sex, but I don't really have sex often because I don't want that emotional attachment. Um, I believe it can be very confusing, but it's because at one point in my life, I had loved somebody and it didn't work out the way I imagined it or I desired to. So it kind of threw me in this shell. So a lot of times with women, it's like I'm fishing. I'm catching them and just throwing back in the water like, I don't even want them, you know. I want something, but I don't want them. Now, some I do. I mean, I'm more attracted to, but for whatever reason. Uh, but I'm afraid. Uh, but the hope of homework assignment was find what makes me happy. And when in the midst of that, uh, the homework assignment, it was also about I have to learn to love myself the way I want other people to love me. So part of my process of loving myself is accept the responsibility for my choices and my responses. It's seeking help in the areas I need help in. That's a form of love and care. So I had to learn to love on me the way I wanted someone else to love me, you know? And, um, you know, I wanted someone to love me unconditionally, you know, and but I have to learn to love myself. So I know I seem a little bit all over the place because, one, you know, a little emotional right now. Like I said, man, she thinks I'm out. <laughs> like, man, what kind of wants to listen? Uh, but <laughs> the thing about it is, uh, man, I got short attention for like a motherfucker. I saw a fat ass and I'm like, totally confused. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, fuck all the shit I just said. You know? Fuck that shit. <laughs> no, I was like, but, but still in all, I had to discover what makes me happy. Um, not just what feels good, <laughs> but what makes me happy. It used to be um, my wife and kids that I had. You know, I used to love being a husband and father. I never really complained about it. Even the bad shit, I just assumed it came with the territory and we'll get through it. Um, obviously, divorces happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, um, no things haven't quite gone the way that I want them to go. And uh, I 
had to learn to be okay with that because I've been legally divorced since 2020. I've been single and living alone um, which since 2018. And I hadn't, and even then when we're quote unquote separated, I wasn't thinking we weren't going to make it out on the other side. But I'm being honest, I didn't help make it better by some of those things I said or did and you know, I'm gonna set the responsibility for my part. I don't mean I don't think other shit now, okay? Because I was there, so I know some of the things I was said did. It's the things I don't know and what was done that really got me fucked up, you know. But uh, but as we were talking in therapy, it was like I'm just into like I like to be. I guess I want people's approval, you know. And that goes back to like, look, my childhood days. You know, and even then, um, you know, man, it's just deep. <laughs> but it was like being good enough, you know. Like, money never really meant much to me. Like, I like making it. I do be making it. Not like that. I'm talking about for me and my, where I'm at in my journey. Like, it's not difficult for me to find ways to make money. Um, I just don't, I just never cared about it. I guess I just wanted love. You know, but I felt as if I had to do certain things to be good enough to receive that love, to be deserving of that love, which is obviously a contradiction to when it comes to love. You know, like I used to love being and enjoy being romantic and attentive um, to the woman I was married to. I mean, you can have a couple of women I want on dates with. I could be an asshole, too, because that anger and that bitterness kick in, the reminder that, you know, whatever happened. But, excuse me, when I want to turn on my charm and my charisma and, and you know, make them feel a certain type of way, I, I could do that when I want to. A lot of times I don't do it, and I come off more like a self-sabotager just to push them away from me, you know, uh, to protect me and them. Mentally and emotionally. And then I've been married, divorced twice. I had children. I had um, um, three children by each woman I married. I married twice in my 20s, plus I had one out of high school. And uh, I got married. I, I, I was trying to do what I thought was the right thing to do. Um, and it didn't work. So now when I'm out dating, I hate re-explaining how many children I got, why they're this situation, that situation, and I really don't have an answer. The women left me alone because of their own personal reasons. Um, most of it had to do with money. At least that's what they told me at those times. Um, they both married me because I was ambitious. They both left me because I was broke. So even when I started getting more on my grind when it came to money, uh, hustling, doing better business, um, which is levels, it's levels. Um, it was fueled by having enough to be loved. So you won't leave me. Not in a controlling way. Like I want to like, use the money, hold up your head, but like, Maybe I'll be good enough. Kind of like how when women get their bodies done and shit. Well, if you if you if you if you look perfect, this person will be with you and look past all those other things. And then I'll be like, well, shit. At the end of the day, um, I'm a human being, and I do deserve to be liked, loved, and cared for. And I got tired of telling myself I don't. Even if I am a little rough around the edges. Even if I do have some issues. Like, well, people say, well, we all do. But for some odd reason, especially those of us who have a calling on our life, um, because I do, it's obvious. Like, every attack against me, they say no weapon for it against me shall prosper. Not even the damn weapons I pull on my damn self don't prosper. You know? Uh, you know, we just, it's like our shit just more amplified. 
You know, I do believe in accountability and responsibility and stuff like that, but I'm learning that too. Just like I'm learning how to respect boundaries, I didn't always do it because I didn't know how to identify those boundaries because my boundaries weren't respected uh, when I was a kid. You know, I grew up in an abusive household. I was abused. I was, <clears throat> I was abused. Very abused. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to explain it because... I'm giving you some insight to how my brain works. Normally, I'm explaining things because then people say, oh, you trying to sound like a bitch, you trying to do that. Well, maybe you ain't never been abused before. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you don't know what it felt like to deal with trauma. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to recover from that. And you can have episodes of, like, you know, running away, pushing people away. Um, you know, things like that. Because you got to feel safe. You got to feel safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, I don't know. Yeah, fit the mold somewhere. But, yeah, I accept that I deserve a love. Now, I know beauty subjective. Let's, let's get that. Let's get that um, understood. Beauty subjective. I want. I do believe in unconditional love. I also now believe in being with somebody I'm actually attracted to. Uh, even though the Bible says, charm and deceive when beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord should be praised. Now, I wasn't raised in church. I'm just using that for reference. But you know how you be pouring your heart out. You like, I want to be loved. And then you realize you're a little shallow. Because you don't want to say ugly. Cause someone that you just don't find attractive. They be shooting a shot like a motherfucker. And I'll be like, stop that shit. Stop, stop shooting your shot. The answer is no. <laughs> My esteem is not that low. Now, maybe when I was younger, you would have got me. You would have got me. But this new Jason is truly, truly a, a lot more confident in himself. <laughs> like, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> a lot more confident, though. Uh, I still like what I like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I like big booty chicks. You know, BBWs, plus size, you know. It, it, it turns me on, you know, and maybe I want to put my dick in them, you know what I'm saying? And I, I want to love on them, too. So, I'm not associating them with that category because people like to do that, you know what I'm saying? No, if I find you attractive, I find you attractive, you know? <laughs> you know? It doesn't matter what other people think in that regards. But it's some women who... But that's my fault. I need to stop being nice to people I'm not attracted to. That's what it is. I think that's what it has to be. Maybe that's how women feel. I got to stop being nice to women I'm not attracted to and I can't accept the offers for sex or sucking my dick or nothing I just can't because it sends mixed signals I mean it's kind of like a woman let me eat her pussy who really don't like me you know what I'm saying like, like why would you do that because now I think I got a chance you know? <laughs> I bet y'all like this nigga crazy I wonder is this a good time to plug the show I got coming up <laughs> Woo! Shout out to therapy. 